Zoom and the day. I will see ID will representing my colleagues Afikol, Norzai, and Mahfuzah will present a project report for our study entitled Developing Variable Doorbell Notification for Hearing Impairment Person Using Arduino Nano and NRF 223L01 Wireless Module. This study is related to people with disabilities specializing in hearing impairments. This study was conducted with the intention of helping people with hearing impairments to always be wary of their surroundings. The environment and problems selected for the study are on the basis of hearing problem can cause people with hearing impairments to miss out if someone has come to their home. However, through this notification system, it will be able to help people with hearing impairments to, to aware uh, if someone is visiting them. Next, this study will begin to look at the methods that can be used for the development of the system. There are three main steps for the plan method. First, by making a plan to design a prototype of the system. For that, two schemes are formed. That is a scheme of parts that will transmit a signal and then a scheme of parts that will receive the signal back. For both schemes, the basic components to be used are the same as Arduino Nano and the NRF23L1 wireless module. The second step in this study method is to develop the prototype for the system. Once the prototype has been successfully built, it is time to test the prototype. There are two test methods has been performed. First is to observe and record the result of the functionality of each components of the variable before and after the doorbell is pressed. The second one is to observe and capture outputs on serial monitor for the doorbell and variable before and after the doorbell is pressed. The result of the first test were recorded as shown in table one and two. Through the display in the table, it can be noted that for the first for this first test, the results obtained have shown a positive output in the development work of the notification system. In table 1, the, the results showed that all the functionality of the variable before the doorbell is pressed was working well since the LCD has displayed the main interface while the other functionality of the variable states are off. In table 2, the results show that all the functionality of the variable after the doorbell is pressed was working well. The same goes for the, result, the test results obtained for the second test. The results of the studies were recorded in tables 3 and 4, where both tables showed positive results. In table 3, the results show that the functionality of the doorbell and the variable are working well, so as in table 4. Overall, the conclusion that can be given to this study has shown a successful in developing the variable notification aids for hearing impaired people to be alert for the coming visitors. Thank you uh, for hearing my presentation. Assalamualaikum.